Long ago, Cross, an eternal of the Second Age, was a mentor to a prominent noble. He had the ability to instill peace into the noble's kingdom. But at the moment of decision, the noble betrayed Cross and all his life, choosing power over the compassion of his people and luxury. The land turned to darkness and greed. People no longer cared about the dignity of the other, and soon all men were exploited. His wife, Evelyn, attempted to speak words of comfort as she left for the next assignment that was meant to be theirs together. It was not you that unleashed the terror amongst those people. Always remember, do not lose your faith, love. Cross watched as she sailed to the Eastern Sea. He waited on the shore just a single lighthouse to light her ship as she faded into the horizon. Years passed. Seasons changed. Cross stood alone, relinquished of his former glory, his wife still gone without a trace. So he went to seek the court's help to return his state as before. But when he went to the Eternals, there was only silence. They would not return to him his full splendor, but they would give him a chance to redeem himself. Cross, determined to find Evelyn again, set sail with anyone who would take him. He traveled to distant lands, saw many dreams and cities of men. For years, he searched for her. But he did not find her. Until one day, some many years passed, he heard from the sailors of the most fair and beautiful lady who had lay asleep, unaging, and the people of the land who loved her so much that they stood guard by her all day and all night. Cross, hearing this, and hoping with his heart that he would have finally found Evelyn, and fearing at all costs that she lie forever still, set sail for this land across the sea, the lost kingdom of Beor, ravaged by a dark entity known as the Skeleton King. This is where our story begins. Thank <laughs> you.
Wait up.